Good morning and a very warm welcome to this service of morning prayer from All Saints, Carl Shelton. For these morning and evening prayer services, we use the Church of England's daily prayer app. In the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, Creator of all. To you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time, you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us. In your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. in the gift of this new day. So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm appointed for this, this morning is Psalm 119, verses 57 to 80. You only are my portion, O Lord. I have promised to keep your words. I entreat you with all my heart. Be merciful to me according to your promise. I have considered my ways and turned my feet back to your testimonies. I made haste and did not delay to keep your commandments. Though the cause of the wicked entangle me, I do not forget your law. At midnight I will rise up to give you thanks because of your righteous judgments. I am a companion of all those who fear you, those who keep your commandments. The earth, O Lord, is full of your faithful love. Instruct me in your statutes. You have dealt graciously with your servants according to your word, O Lord. O oh, teach me true understanding and knowledge, for I have trusted in your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are gracious and do good. O oh, Lord, teach me your statutes. The proud have smeared me with lies, but I will keep your commandments with my whole heart. Their heart has become gross with fat, but my delight is in your law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is dearer to me than a hoard of gold and silver. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me, because I have hope in your word. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right, and that in great faithfulness you caused me to be troubled. Let your faithful love be my comfort, according to your promise to your servant. Let your tender mercies come to me, that I may live. For your law is my delight. Let the proud be put to shame, for they wrong me with lies. But I will meditate on your commandments. Let those who fear you turn to me, even those who know your testimonies. Let my heart be sound in your statutes, that I may not be put to shame. 
glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. First reading is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 25, verses 7 to 11, and 19 until the end. This is the length of Abraham's life, 175 years. Abraham breathed his last, and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years, and was gathered to his people. His sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah, in the field of Ephron, son of Zoar the Hittite, east of Mamre, the field that Abraham purchased from the Hittites. There Abraham was buried with his wife Sarah. After the death of Abraham, God blessed his son Isaac, and Isaac settled in Beer Lachai Roy. These are the descendants of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham was the father of Isaac, and Isaac was forty years old when he married Rebekah, daughter of Bethuel, the Aramean of Padon Amar, P -P -P Padan Aram, sister of Laban, the Aramean. Isaac prayed to the Lord for his wife, because she was barren, and the Lord granted his prayer, and his wife Rebekah conceived. The children struggled together within her, and she said, If it is to be this way, why do I live? So she went to inquire of the Lord, and the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb, and two peoples born of you shall be divided, one shall be stronger than the other. The elder shall serve the younger. When her time to give birth was at hand, there were twins in her womb. The first came out red, all his body like a hairy mantle, so they named him Esau. Afterwards his brother came out, with his hand gripping Esau's heel, so he was named Jacob. Isaac was sixty years old when she bore them. When the boys grew up, Esau was a skillful hunter a man of the field, while Jacob was a quiet man, living in tents. Isaac loved Esau, because he was fond of game, but Rebekah loved Jacob. Once when Jacob was cooking a stew, Esau came in from the field, and he was famished. Esau said to Jacob, Let me eat some of the red stuff, for I am famished. Therefore he was called Edom. Jacob said, First, sell me your birthright. Esau said, I am about to die. Of what use is a birthright to me? Jacob said, Swear to me first. So he swore to him and sold his birthrights to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and lentil stew, and he ate and drank and rose and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Turn to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways, and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from above, and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose, and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. 
second reading is taken from the second letter to Timothy, chapter 1, verses 1 to 14. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, for the sake of the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my beloved child, grace, mercy and peace from God the Father, and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience, as my ancestors did, when I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. Recalling your tears, I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy. I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that's lived first in your grandmother, Louise, and, and your mother, Eunice, and now, I am sure, lives in you. For this reason, I remind you to rekindle the gift of God that is within you through the laying on of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. Do not be ashamed, then, of the testimony about our Lord, or of me, his prisoner, but join with me in suffering for the gospel, relying on the power of God, who saved us and called us for the holy calling not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. This grace was given to us in Christ Jesus before the ages began, but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Saviour, Christ Jesus, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the Gospel. For this Gospel I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher, and for this reason I suffer as I do. But I am not ashamed, for I know the one in whom I have put my trust, and I am sure that he is able to guard, until that day, what I have entrusted to him. Hold the standard of sound teaching that you have heard from me, in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Guard the good treasure entrusted to you, with the help of the Holy Spirit living in you. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand, and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel, and afterwards receive me with glory. You show mercy to our ancestors, and remember your holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of all their sins, in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You show mercy to our ancestors, and remember your holy covenant. So in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Heavenly Lord, as we 
start this new day. We lift up to you all, about the, all the hours that lie ahead of us. Whether those hours entail work, rest, organisation, or any other task that, that, that the day will bring. We pray for the work of your church throughout the world this day. We pray for all of the work that and mission and activity that will happen here in your church of all saints. In the church, we continue to pray for our local bishop, Jonathan, as he prepares to move on and retire. We pray for the Diocese of Southwark as they seek to find and appoint a new Bishop of Croydon. We pray for all your ministers who today will hear confession. All those who will comfort and support those with pastoral need, needs or any in urgent distress. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, we pray for your world. Following our prayer intentions, we pray today for the work of the United Nations, for all member states of the United Nations, and for the Security Council. We pray for the United Nations General Secretary. We pray that the UN may be a gen genuine body which works for peace. This time we also continue to pray for a de-escalation of tensions between Russia and the Ukraine. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, we lift up to you our local community. But most especially, we pray for all those we love and we know who are sick. Especially pray for Sally, Mindy, Matrix, Roy, Roy Lewis, Cynthia, and George Bruce. We pray for the recently departed and their families. For June Beckmans, whose funeral was in church yesterday, and for Susan Brickle. And we lift up to you and ask for the repose of the souls of Reginald Greenhill and Iris Jones whose year's mind falls, falls this week. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In a few minutes of silence, we lift all of our own prayers and petitions up to our loving God. God, who alone can bring order to the unruly wills and passions of sinful humanity, give your people grace so to love what you command, and to desire what you promise, that, among the many changes of this world, our hearts may surely there be fixed, where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.